Hey everybody, Pastor Eric here, and I wanted to send you guys a quick message, a message of encouragement, as well as just I wanted to update you on a, a few things. So I know that you guys right now, you're at a, a KSG meeting, a KSG leadership meeting, and I'm excited about um, what Mel is going to be sharing with you today. It's going to be powerful. I also wanted to at least notate that um, I realize that some of you serve both in KSG as well as Saddleback Kids on the weekend. And I want to let you know that I appreciate all of you. I appreciate, I appreciate you so much. And thank you so much for what you're doing for the kingdom as well as what you're doing for our campus. We literally could not do this without you. So thank you for answering that call to serve in ministry. Um, so I also wanted to mention to you that um, I say it often, uh, but I mean it genuinely that I am very thankful to be your campus pastor. You know, I was here four years ago, and I was the number two back in the day. And I fell in love with this campus. I fell in love with the people serving here. My heart really never left Saddleback San Clemente. So to be put here four, so, so to come back after four years, to have Pastor Rick Warren um, place me here for this season, um, I'm thrilled and extremely thankful. You know, as you can imagine, when um, kind of when I was going through the interview process this time around with Pastor Rick and the leadership team, you know, they they really they put some things upon my heart about kind of the vision about what needs to happen at Saddleback San Clemente and all of our campuses for that matter. Um, but our campus, you know, my my jo job is to at the end of the day really align us with who Saddleback Church is. So. I know that change can be hard, and I want to acknowledge that right now. I realize that um, I've come in here, I've been here for about eight or nine months, and I've been making changes. And I want you to know this, though. I'm not making changes um, arbitrarily. I'm not trying to make things more challenging for anybody. I'm really just trying to bring our campus to the place that our leadership, our senior leadership, desires for us to be. And really all that means is they just we, we need to be a Saddleback church. So when it comes to Saddleback kids, there are certain values that we have, that we have created many, many years ago that um, I'm really trying to enforce. So I realize it's a change from the past. I know it must feel tighter for you. And there's like maybe a little less flexibility with certain things. And I'm sorry if it feels that way. But in time, I, I, my prayer is that you'll know the, the heart behind it. I think many of you, you know, you signed the covenant or you signed the booklet that you had. So you're kind of aware of it, but we're actually really enforcing it right now um, because we live in an interesting day, you know? I mean, as you know, I think one of our number one values is safety and security. So immediately we saw some, some gaps and some opportunity to tighten that up. And I feel really good about that. Um, I feel really good to know that we're doing every thing we possibly can to make sure that our kids are safe. You know, we live in an interesting day, as I was just about ready to say, and, you know, I just want to make sure that our kids are protected and that, at least under my leadership, I'm doing everything I can. So by locking doors, making sure that we have enough leaders in a room, things like that, re the way that we deal with um, restroom breaks and things like that, those are all critical pieces of our, of our safety strategy. So, um, I just want you to know that <laughs> I'm not trying to make your life more challenging, but I, I love this campus. I love Saddleback Church. I love Pastor Rick. And I take the call to this role very seriously. So um, I just wanted to share that with you. I wanted to share my heart with you because in 2019, we're going to keep moving down the pathway. We're going to keep aligning with, uh, with what it means to be a Saddleback Church. Because um, if you go to Saddleback San Clemente and you, then you go to Saddleback Rancho, or you go to Saddleback Anaheim, we really want there to be a similar experience, especially in Saddleback Kids. Like you go to their kids, you, you know, go to Saddleback Kids at that campus, it should feel the same at different campuses. And of course, there's a different, I'm gonna say flavor at each campus. I mean, Rancho is gonna be a different feeling in terms of the campus feel, but how we do ministry should be the same, should be similar. We're all following the same rule book, if you will. So that's it. If you guys ever have like any questions, concerns, if you're frustrated, if you need to talk to me, 
I'm available to you, right? I send these videos because I have over a thousand people um, that are in this at this campus, so it's hard for me to meet with everybody um, on the go. But if you want to talk to me directly, I'm available. Okay, so I love you guys, and once again, thank you for watching this, and thank you for what you're doing at, a camp, or at our campus. God bless.